The Calamity Mod, one of the biggest mods out in all of Terraria land, but there's all kinds of little add-ons for it, and one of these is Infernum, which apparently just makes the game a lot harder. So of course, we're doing that now. What the heck is that? <laughs> Oh, you're you're that yeah okay. Is is, is he joined with a powerful <laughs> Billy? Oh, yes. So I've mentioned this before, but Billy is actually the only person in our group who has actually played Infernum before, and well, he named his character in that world, and well, the one for this one the same name, so he joined with the wrong one, or maybe he joined with the wrong one on purpose. I don't know, but <laughs> that's uh that's what we can be looking forward to in probably the near future. But once Billy switched back to his proper character, we got underway. Hey guys, I have bad news. Mm. We're gonna have to go to uh, the Sulfur Sea. Why? Why? For my armor. Before we actually went to the Sulfuric Sea, though, I was still looking for some, I don't know, modded melee armor. I was hoping for something that wasn't vanilla, because right now I have platinum armor, and they did change it in Calamity, and that's nice, but I wanted something different. 10% increased damage reduction while submerged in liquid, so we need to fight all of our bosses in uh, no. a liquid, in liquid. now. <laughs> yes, let's put the entire world Let's this do it, video. guys! We also knew that we were going to have to fight Krabulon at some time, and we hadn't found a glowing mushroom biome yet, but Snake Boy said he had seen a little bit of one on a map, so he pinged it, and then I went to go and check that. And then I went and joined the boys over at the Sulfuric Sea so we could get Billy his set of armor. But I got quickly bored and went under the Sulfuric Sea instead of spending my time above it. Oh, wait, there's, like, stuff down here. Yeah, there is. It's just, what? I don't know how far down you'll be able to get without dying of poison. That is something new to me. Apparently there's little outpost things with treasure and crates in the Sulfuric Sea, which is pretty cool. And after I was done around in the caves, I found the kind of the big hole that leads to the bottom of the abyss. Into the abyss we go. That's a good idea. It's a great and mighty well, how do I have an abyss. Ocean crest? I hope you um <laughs> enjoyed that. And when I got a bit deeper, it turns out you actually can't mine any of these stuff down there. Well, you can mine some of it, but not these blocks. I can't yeah, mine yeah, it. I can't mine it. <laughs> So I gave up on the abyss because it turns out once you beat the clam, you get an NPC that spawns after you defeat the clam that gives you a little bubble thing that helps with the pressure. Because if you don't know, pressure is a thing in the abyss <laughs> in Calamity. It's not just, it's not breath. You can have all the guild potions you want. It changes to pressure at a certain point and you, you die really fast. So we needed this NPC for it. Only thing is, Winston wasn't actually on yet and we wanted to make sure to fight all the bosses with everybody present. Oh, hi, Clam. Uh, I don't have an ocean crest, so I'll do my best. He's so. gone down. So since Billy is always insisting on us making arenas for one reason or another, they decided to start making it around the clam that was already there. And well, of course this happened. Oh, oh you attacked it? Uh, Come on, man. Uh, Winston okay. isn't even... Ah. Oh, it's so fast! <laughs> <laughs> this is so much harder! <laughs> what? <laughs> Before you could just kind of dodge it. This is... Guys, this is pre-Eater of Worlds. Why is this Why? shooting so many projectiles? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> no! Hey, guys, remember when I said we need an arena? <laughs> yes! I got this, guys! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Help! Why is it a spawn? Take it to the boss arena! Take it to the boss arena! I had, the giant clam has always been kind of a pushover of a boss, but Infernum definitely made it really interesting. And after a little bit of fighting, we remembered, oh wait, we want to make sure everybody's here for this fight. And I don't want Winston to miss this fight either, so we actually started trying to all die at the same time because the giant clam doesn't count as a fully fledged boss, meaning that the fast respawn time still worked. So, we were actually having a hard time making sure we all died all at the same time so it would despawn. But we did finally manage to do it. Kill us! Go, go, go! Yeah, we, we did it! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Wait a minute. failed successfully. And since Winston still wasn't there and Billy didn't get all the stuff that he needed from the Sulfuric Sea, we headed back there to continue getting some things, but there was something a little off about the trees. Also, what's with oh, this guessing. tree? Huh? Uh, Why is this tree weird? I yeah, I see that it. too. Kill it. <laughs> what? No, don't kill it! No! So that's pretty cool, and Winston finally was able to join, and well, this is what he said first thing. Oh, you can just... buy people? 
You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the uh, fuck is man, it like? Some... <laughs> What's it? <in? laughs> you can't be saying those no. things. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not wrong. <laughs> I mean, like, like can buy people. Just to be clear, in Fargo's mod, I believe it is, they add an NPC that lets you buy other NPCs so you can you can spawn them so that way you don't have to wait for them to come back. You can just buy the NPC and then spawn it. So that is what he was referring to. Just just to be ultra clear <laughs> as to what was being referred to. But after we got all the stuff that Billy needed, we went back underneath the sulfuric sea into the abyss just for fun, I guess. We must go deeper, boys. Uh oh, the pressure's really kicking in. Deeper, deeper. I, I'm gonna die from pressure, guys. We're actually about to die from pressure, but then there's a strange spot where the pressure went away, which let us go even deeper. Whoa, that's cool. But like, if the second you uh, leave this area, you're gonna And terrifying, drop. what? Yeah. When I said terrifying, I was referring to the fact that it started glowing and it was kind of freaky. I ended up going back down, but there wasn't really anything there, so I went instead to the Sunken Sea, because now that Winston was finally here, we could fight the giant clam. Um, if, it, if we're gonna do this, we need for our potions for Grimming Underwater. Hello, clam! What if I just, like, shot him, you know? You could do that. It would be very bad. It'd be pretty funny. Pretty epic. Yeah. Pretty gamer, one might even just say. Just shoot it, I dare you. Be a gamer and shoot it. I wanna get rid of this lava here. He, oh. he just wants to get rid of the lava first, guys. He's not yeah. scared or anything. He hasn't. Oh, he hit it. <laughs> you, you challenged him and he hit it. Oh. I needed the lava to be gone. <laughs> this is what you get. Ah! So after I died, you know, just, just because I was having some fun, obviously, we went over to the little arena area that had been blown up to continue fighting the clam. And it's actually a rather difficult boss fight in Infernum, but because we're able to all respawn really quickly, um, it wasn't as hard as it could have been. I think we're doing great. Personally. Yeah, because we have infinite respawns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheesing the boss. Again, that's his fault for not being a real boss. Exactly. He should have like applied for boss status. I'm actually kind of curious as to why the clam isn't considered a real boss. Maybe it's just a, um, what is it called? The small, small boss, mini boss. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's what it's considered. And we just don't get the respawn time, which I guess is unfortunate, but it's, it's not meant to be taken that seriously. I don't, I don't think, but when we went back to the surface, there was actually a goblin army, which was great because we, we needed one so we could finally get ourselves the goblin tinkerer, but that will come a little bit later. For now, we had the NPC that would allow us to get the bubble, so we headed back to the Abyss. Oh, hello, big colossal squid, just chilling. The Abyss is kind of legitimately terrifying, though. You, you don't get to use your map? Nope. In the, the Abyss. The, the, the map doesn't work in the Abyss. Nope. Oh, it's just like black or something? It's just all black, yeah. Oh, you can't use, even when you hit M. No, it doesn't work. Wow. It's like your entire map is blacked out. I found an isopod. I love him. I love him, but I gotta kill him because he's 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 chonky. The terminus. You become, what? You what is this? Oh, oh, what was that? Reaper shark. Reaper shark. Oh, Reaper shark. Oh, Reaper shark. What have you done? I didn't do anything. It just attacked me. So clearly, we learned our lesson and went directly back there. Let's go. And of course, the same thing happened again. Oh, oh Reaper shark. Oh, Reaper shark. No, Again? no, we need to summon that one. <laughs> so we stopped briefly so we could deal with the sulfuric rain event. I, th I think that's what it's called. And when it was done and over with, Snake Boy threw me a costume from one of the uh, goodie bags that you can get in the Halloween kind of stuff because Calamity just makes it so it's always Halloween and Christmas at the same time. And I don't know, I, I felt like I needed to share this abomination with you. I'm a clam fox. <laughs> He's a clam fox. He didn't get the whole set. Something I went am wrong. The clam fox. The, the, the conversion wasn't as good as I thought it would be. So we got to work on Krabulon next. We did find that nice glowing mushroom earlier, and now it was time to finally fight him. <laughs> I I would, I mean, oh, oh, oh! Yes, crab music. Crab. Crab wave. Oh, why? Why, why? right now? Why? Whoa, glowing Wait, things. what if it's actually killing it? It kind of, the, the, I feel like the dynamite's actually damaging it pretty good. <laughs> it might be. That's kind of funny. The dynamite really wasn't doing all that much against him. But remember how we defeated the goblin army earlier and we were looking for the goblin tinkerer? Goblin! Oh, you found him, Mecha! Right, save him. him, I can't get him! Get him! 
What's oh, oh, there he is. I got, got him. him. Did you get him? I got him. Yes. Help us fight, goblin. <laughs> yes. Why couldn't oh, I jump right. that much? What the heck? What? Oh, the his heck? arms have extended. What? Guys, he's got arms. He's got Winston, he has arms. Get <laughs> <laughs> <Yes, sir>. them. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Infernum makes all the bosses so cool to fight. And I, I love bosses that have a bunch of different phases. Lots of phases makes bosses so much fun. And while we took down Krabulon even despite those extra phases, wasn't really, wasn't that bad. But also at the same time, we came pretty close to losing. There's also one quick thing I wanted to mention after that, where I went to the desert. I wasn't really sure what to do with myself at this point, so I just joined Snake Boy in his quest in the desert, and I stumbled upon a, what I think is OP weapon. I got an extractinator. The Drippler Crippler? What? What? What is this? I really like that name. I love it too. For one, that is an absolutely awesome name. And two, somebody just summoned the Desert Scourge and it tore through it. This is the best flail I have ever had and I am actually happy to use it. So props to the devs who made the Drippler Crippler. You've made me actually appreciate a flail. Only problem is the next boss we decided to fight we couldn't fight with weapons because it's Torch God. Before we do this, why don't we uh, make a little bit of an area to run around so we don't get hit and take like all of our health? You know? Because um, the torches do a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, torch God. But you know, when so I look I, at torches, it doesn't look God? like it has a lot of damage. So, you know. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. There we go. No wonder. Good Who's boy. it targeting? Torch God is a lot of fun in multiplayer because it <laughs> shoots and only one person's actually being targeted, so everyone else just kind of wanders around. Although, Winston decided he was going to make it a lot harder. Why are you placing more? Hey, Jake, what's up? Oh, no! <laughs> and of course, that's what Winston would do. The next person it targeted was me, and I almost beat it, but wasn't able to quite do it. But on the second try, I was able to beat it, and I was the first one to do so, I might add. The only problem is my inventory was full, so it gave me Torch God's favor, and it immediately fell out of my inventory. Placing torches, awesome. what are you talking about? It's over, but we have another uh -oh. one. No! Oh, no! That's not fair. I'm just trying to make the... Winston, make this a did Winston flat. just get the Torch God's favor? It, that is unfair. It dropped out oh, of my inventory into his. Give, Winston, <laughs> give. Give. Winston, we, we will not... I, I'm not kidding. We're not going to forgive you if you take it. <laughs> it's an unforgivable crime to take the Torch God's favor. Winston did end up giving me back the Torch God's favor, which was great. And after all the other boys defeated the Torch God, we moved on to the next boss, which was the Eater of Worlds. He move, uh, um, he's a, he's a fast worm. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> and I'm just going to show you this fight because the Eater of Worlds was a lot of fun to fight and it doesn't break into separate segments, which made him a lot harder. That alone made him a lot harder. With the Eater of Worlds down, I went to the Underworld because, again, I wasn't entirely sure what to do with myself, and I started searching the Underworld just to find the Brimstone biome because it's a really cool biome to look at. I went all the way to the left side and found nothing, which was disappointing, but on the right side, I now knew the Brimstone biome was there. And along the way, I stumbled upon the Underworld lab and got the Murasama, which I think is the strongest weapon of the game. You just can't use it until a certain point, and it's, well, it, well it's, it's very late. And then when I got to the brimstone biome, there was this weird thing that happened when I stood in a very specific spot. Oh, that's the first enemy I killed, and I got that. Wait, what was that? What? Profane Guardian? Uh, excuse me? Wait, what? Just when I stand here, I just get that text. Why? So I'm still not entirely sure what that's all about. Billy explained it a little bit, but I, I, I kind of forget what it was. But also, Infernum adds a, a big temple thing something that's it's really cool i've only seen glimpses of it from other infernum runs and i was looking for that but it wasn't anywhere to be found uh i thought there's a temple 
They're supposed to be. <laughs> oh. Uh. So that was a bit concerning. Me and the boys spent quite a while searching for this temple, and then we did a Google search and realized that it probably actually doesn't spawn until after we defeat one of the hard mode bosses. I forget which one it was. Maybe it was the mechs or, or Plantera or something. But after one of the bosses much later on in the game, then the temple will appear. So we were all very worried we were going to have to make another world or something and fight it there instead of being able to do it here. But it looks like it'll be fine. We just have to, we just have to wait. And of course, if we have to beat a certain boss in order to get it to spawn, we might as well fight another boss and we will do the hive mine next. The hive mind was cool, though it wasn't, I don't know, the coolest boss in the world. We took it out without too much of a problem. And after you defeat the hive mind, Aerialite, 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 so something like that, it is now able to be mined. Now, in the Sky Islands, this is where Aerialite spawns. It's orange to start, kind of an orangish golden color. But after you defeat the hive mind, it's supposed to turn blue. And the first Sky Island or two that I found, was blue, so I didn't think there was a problem. But the boys were saying that some of theirs were still locked, still golden, and they couldn't mine it because of that. And I wasn't sure what it was, but if I could mine it, then whatever, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But then I wasn't able to mine some of it. And some of the boys were able to mine some of the parts that I could, and I could mine things that they couldn't, but there were also some that none of us could mine. So we ended up needing to refresh the world, and we just save and quit, basically. <laughs> and then we were able to get all of the area light. And once we were able to get it all, we did come across the Crimson Sky Island and figured we might as well fight the Perforator Mind because, well, the Hive Mind's down and this is the Crimson Alternative. We we might as well take it out. But Snake Boy and Winston were a little busy doing some PvP. So while Billy continued making a flat area for the Perforator fight, I decided to show the boys what's what. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no way, no way. Hang on, hang on. I don't want this. Hang on. Hang on. Yes, Come yes, here, boys. Thing. I'm here to end the stalemate. Attack. Attack. Oh, wait, wait. You're both, wait, you're both on pink too much. Wait. Hey. <laughs> Got Let's one. Go. Killed me. Come oh, here, Winston. Hang the on, hang on. is too much. Come here, Winston. Hey, hang on, oh, shoot. The fight was actually coming to a bit of a stalemate. I was able to do a lot more damage than he was able to do to me, but he was also able to inflict a lot more knockback than I could, so it was really hard to get close to him. But as we were fighting, the Perforator Mind was summoned, so we had to put a hold on that. <laughs> Winston! <laughs> oh, well, okay. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, hey guys, put your differences aside so we don't get murdered, please. Haha, <laughs> I win. Now, the Perforator Mind is a little more interesting, I think, than the Hive Mind. It's pretty cool, although it summons all these worm bosses, and since I had the Drippler Crippler, which does really well against these segmented bosses, it wasn't that hard of a fight until it reached this part. Oh! This the oh the heart red it's skies! Red. It's Hello. red and scary. Oh, that was... Okay. I think he's mad, guys. He's a fast brain. Oh, I'm oh, still blocking me! I'm oh my goodness! <laughs> uh, this is like Yeron's younger brother. Hey, no death. Let's go. <laughs> Perforator down. We did a quick fight against the old one's army, and I think that's just because we wanted Snake Boy to have access to use the ballista rod or whatever rod that he might have, so he could use those. And it's kind of sad that the. Old One's army doesn't really see much of an update. The mage guy or whatever, he actually did spawn and was a little more interesting than normal. I'm not sure if Infernum changed it or if that's just Calamity, but I'm curious if you know of any mod that really focuses hard on the Old One's army. I don't know of any that does much of anything, if anything, to it. So it'd be kind of interesting to know if there was one that did. And when the Old One's army was down, the boys started going to the jungle so they could start preparing an area for Queen Bee. And I was going off into the tundra, but the boys apparently discovered a um, larva. Oh, I found... Okay. Oh, oh. all right. Uh, Let's do we... this! Oh, Queen Bee was pretty cool, but also wasn't very hard. We were able to take her down pretty easily. So with Queen Bee down, the only logical thing to do next is Skeletron. And I know this whole video has kind of just turned into a real big boss rush, just boss after boss after boss. But we were on a roll today. Spotted yeah, main melee, man. Oh, oh so control the screen. That scared me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I was like, what? That hasn't happened before. Wait, can you not hit his arms? No. They're just uh, oh, yeah, raised they in the air like, like you just don't, don't care. Don't laugh maniacally. I'm scared. Well, <laughs> oh, guys, this is easy. He's on the attack. Thanks for saying that, Winston. Thanks for saying that. Now we're on phase two. Oh. Dude, okay, now yeah, we're actually doing some actual damage to oh. his head. Oh my <laughs> goodness. So oh, no, no, many no, no, no. projectiles. Oh. This just reminding me of how this fight goes, oh. and I forgot it's much worse than I originally thought. So Infinitum just basically takes Calamity and says, Oh, next what phase! With phase health? three. I like how every boss has so many phases. Yeah, it's actually kind of his, nice. His hands are in the ground, though. They're pretty oh, low. Yeah. He's got me kind of trapped. So many skulls. Can't really approach, so... If you can get in here, then up the yeah, boy. <laughs> Oh, oh so you're, that's, that's the thing. You're supposed to try to get in there, okay? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta force your way in. Part of the meta. Yeah. Uh, I, he's, he's, at four, he's at four percent. He's oh, so boy. low, and I'm gonna die, aren't I? I, I don't want. I don't want to die during. Before oh, I died. died. I, I missed it. So we wrapped up the session by searching through the dungeon. There isn't a whole lot of interesting things that kind of went on in the dungeon. There are a few changes here and there, but. Nothing all that big. I did find this one gap in the dungeon, just this opening, which is kind of cool. I don't know how common these are. I don't run into them very often, but this was a rather wide gap that we could have used before beating Skeletron. That would have been kind of fun. There would have been Dungeon Guardian, sure, but it would have been fun to at least have checked out. And there is actually this one really big arena in the dungeon that we were able to find, and we think it's for this boss called the Ceaseless Void, which is a ways away, but it's a really cool arena.